anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe too much bomb. to be done on this pipe mic bomb. that I ain't doing ready. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. In anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. I don't know about you guys, but the, uh, the whole Dark Ascension thing you now is kind of boring. Um, I guess it shouldn't, but I did see a Soren deck, and damn, that deck was nasty. Soren tokens. Whew. I watched that deck just do a royal beatdown on some poor bitch. Okay, so my opening hand is a mixture of terrible and okay. I need manners and other assorted crap. Faithless looting. This card's insane. How is this card you know, any less than insane? I mean, like, okay, I want to get rid of that stupid flyer thing because I'll never get it out in time. And, well, that flashes back, so why not? Since apparently, you know, I'm not allowed to play any. I, I, I didn't build this deck to, uh, uh, to have a turn to play. Uh, so, anyone watch the Knicks today? It was good. You know, they, they won. Jeremy Lin had a huge game. Is it politically correct now to call all Asian people Jeremy Lin? Like, will they see that as complimentary? This would be a fantastic time for a two-drop, which I don't get. But at least now I can play my Falcon Wrath... I don't know, it's a mythic. I'll just call it vampire or something. I'll just call it any time there's a vampire I'll just and I don't care to know the names of cards, I'll just call them Twilights, so that's a Twilight. I got one Twilight in my hand, a bone flinger, and a thing that makes other stuff undying. Which with bone flinger, by the way, sounds sick. I'm actually rather stressed out because I did do one last uh, pre-release draft and I drafted the most insane deck that you could, you know, possibly draft in Dark Ascension. I'm talking like four Reap the Seagrafts, like four uh, of uh, Wake Dancers. Like, that deck was so goddamn insane. It, it was just, oh my god. Like, all I needed was f five mana, in all, to make the entire deck work. And I even had two Relentless Scabs and a Garolf's Mind Crusher. It was a crazy deck. And I got stuck on two lands for, like, the first two games. So angry. Eh, I really don't care. People talk. All right, okay, that's good, that's good. That's good stuff. All right, so I'm going to get in there for four with my Twilight. Um, which is good, because you kind of, this is like the one card in my deck that could actually, you know, win me the game. The only thing I'm worried about right now is if he has Fires of the Undeath, or whatever the fuck it's called, Shock with shock with Recoil. Oh no, it, that is really just a much, I think that, I think that's better than Markov Blade Master. Yeah, I know, you can give me shit for saying that too, but I think that the 2-1 for 3 mana is better than the 1-1 one -one first strike. I don't know. Now here's where I make a misplay. Now I'm gonna kill that with Reek with Madness. But like an idiot, I didn't leave the black mana open in case he did have a way of killing the Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, and therefore I couldn't use the Undying if he could kill it. So <clears throat> Either way, I feel pretty good about this spot right now. I can feel that calling me again. 
So, so what are you gonna do, buddy? You got six manners. You got six mana. What you gonna do? Play that. I do not care. But he does have a blocker, and arguably one of the best cards in this set. I say a lot of cards are the best card in this set, mostly because there are a really weird mix of insanely great cards. Now this time I actually tapped the correct mana, because I don't have a lightning bolt in my hand. I have to keep reminding myself that. And I'm going to kill that thing because it becomes big, and I don't want it to become big. That's what she said. When she was on her period. Ew, that was disgusting. Now I'm going to attack, and I guess I'm just going to start wiping out his creatures systematically. Oh, wait, no. Undying. Just pops right back. Not only does it pop right back, but it pops right back with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. And I could still sacrifice something to make it indestructible. Yeah, that's nice. Well, that's the first game. <laughs> like there was any way I was going to lose. Come on, I'm a badass. Um, okay, so stuff and things. I beat a guy today with my deck. I went 2-1 and one in that draft. I should have went 3-0. Oh, kind of depressed with myself. But I, I beat a guy today that had a Hunt Master of the Fells. Except really in the end he wins, because he had Hunt Master of the Fells. So, alright, this is a subpar, if not irrelevant, opening hand. Goody. Okay, so he plays a land, and since there are like three one-drops in the entire game that you can use, um, in the entire limited, like this set, so... I don't think I have to worry much about it. anything until at least turn three. Sometimes turn two. Oh my god. Barcelona won. Messi had four. Messi's a little bitch. Someone just needs to go fuck that little bitch up. Fuck Messi. Fuck Barcelona and Real Madrid. And the entire city, ah, by the way. Fuck all of them. So it looks like he's massacred. That's good for me. Because I'm mad screwed too. Huzzah! I can feel it calling in the air. But I have a faith that's looting, and he doesn't. Um, wow. That is not a land. Um, uh, <laughs> any suggestions? I guess I'll get rid of that. Okay. I got two fires of whatever. Shock. I got two shocks in my hand. So. I can kill almost anything that he puts out. Unless it has undying. I hope they make like undying. Like a. Like a legitimate. Um, long term. Thing. Like, you know, it's in future sets, like Lifelink or Death Touch or Homosexuality. You know, that would just be fantastic. Will it ever happen? Eh, who knows. Well, he doesn't have any forests, and I'm guessing he probably has a handful of green crap. Oh, wait, no. Uh, stuff. What kind of stuff? Five mana. What can he do with five mana? This four mana. That makes a little more sense. Ooh, and he tapped the wrong thing. Whoopsies. It's like an uh-oh SpaghettiOs moment. Because there's no way that he has, There's nothing in red that's one mana that can do anything. So I could just go in with both in theory. But... Why do that when I could just attack with two and deal six damage instead of dealing uh, two damage and killing off his little uh, kitty. Well, it's a big kitty. Well, it's a wolf. It's a puppy. 
So this set went from like horror and fear. See, I figured like the first set was based on supernatural. Oh, that's that's frustrating. It I'd have to sacrifice how many? I'd have to sacrifice nine humans for that to be attackable again. Okay, that card is really annoying. So I'm gonna hate myself for doing this, but I kind of have to. So, all right, here comes the mana flood. Um, I'm going to have to use my one of my shocks to kill off his little human put counter on crap thing. And it hurts me to do so. Believe me, it hurts me more than it hurts you. But he could have made a creature that was large and I couldn't have been able to deal with it. And then I would have screamed obscenities and racial slurs. And, you know, I just would have been very frustrated. Immerwolf. No. Where's that Stromkirk captain I have in this deck? All right, okay. Good game. Wait, do I say good game? Would that be impolite? Oh wait, no, first, next turn, if he doesn't play a creature, it's a good game. Right? Yeah, okay. That's good. If I play the Warlord now, it gives him a turn to kind of do stuff. So I could kind of do nothing this turn. Force his creature to attack. Take the four points of damage, which is fine. Oh wait, no, I could block with the Aristocrat. Um... Because I didn't top deck my undying evil. So if I force his... If he doesn't put down a creature. I'll force his 3-3 three, three to attack. No, you, the, the whole point was you not putting down a creature. Okay. Maybe he'll attack with it. Who knows. Okay, so I'll force his big creature to attack. That makes sense. Right? Is that what I'm doing it to? Yes. Large creature attacks first. So I'll just throw the aristocrat in front of it. And, uh. Okay, see, that's perfect. He just killed himself. I block. My aristocrat dies. We're all very sad. Um. I don't really have to use fire here. Um. So I'm not going to. Could use it on him at the end of the turn. But it really doesn't matter because it's game over anyway. Boink, boink, boink. Eh, why? I figured why not. It's just adding, you know, um, I forget what it's called, but whatever hey my dawn shredder elk i love that elk it's like a son to me good game two creatures can't block go in with the whole squad they turn into a giant sword and fight uh i don't know i haven't watched power rangers in a long time who do the power rangers fight now are the Power Rangers still on TV? These are all questions that need to be answered. It frustrates me. You know, if he had Archangel's Light, quote-unquote, worst mythic in the set, he might have won. Well, that's game one. On to game three.